here, welcome everyone in this new live development video about building an auto battle game. In this video we're going to make it so our units start uh, dealing damage to each other uh, because we replaced the previous logic we had which was, which was taking care of this. And maybe we'll take care, uh, maybe we'll just reactivate the collision between two combat units just to see if it doesn't mess up with our with our uh, unit puller because we actually disabled uh, collision between units when we were dealing with our collision bug with the actor puller so we'll just re-enable that for the duration in the of the video and we'll see if we have errors uh, I just want to check if everything goes fine right away yeah apparently units are happy and they are no longer colliding into each other so they are eating each other this is fine and we want to do some kind of logic which deals damage so when we trigger the attack so the first time we trigger the attack we don't want to do anything So we actually want to have another function called deal damage. Combat set combat metrics on death on take damage. So we want to put all of uh, we want to put this in attack, not in combat because uh, most of it is just a uh, temporary logic. Check if attacking. We're going to move this in combat because uh, this is the real logic we want to keep. So when we trigger the attack, instead of triggering the attack, we're going to deal damage when we end the attack. Uh, actually not. We want to let leave this uh, in. Yeah, we want to, to call two, two events. Uh, this one is going to be trigger attack, and this one is going to be... We want to trigger the damage as at like we're che cheating here to create a little delay between t uh, to leave the animation wind up and deal damage after the animation wi wind up we're cheating here so since it's temporary we don't care about this so are we actually feeding this value somewhere never so we'll be doing this here only on the server and this is also going to be tempor tempor temporary so when we attack, no we don't want to do anything uh, we'll be doing something here when we find the closest targets we'll also set the target here uh, we want to cast into combat units and we want to set the target here Nope, not like this. Get gain state ref, get honor ref. We want to grab the highest priority target, which is also needed to be a combat unit apparently. So we, w we will get rid of that variable afterwards. For now, we, we don't care. We'll just do it this way because we need it to deal damage to something. So when we deal damage, if we have authority, we're actually going to take deal damage to our target to our target uh, how much damage we want to do we want to grab our data row break and get our damage for now so we're dealing damage we're removing the current else and we'll see what it does and we'll reduce the... oh! some units already have lost else why did units <laughs> lost else? I guess that's because this event was somehow triggered here 
at some point before the fight occurs. Yep, as you can see here. Yeah, we are being pulled at the beginning, so we're starting the attack loop. So we want to check if the unit is not looped, is not pulled here. And we want to add, we still want to keep our print. Did we add it here? No, we did not. We want to check if we are triggering that event. Actually, we're not no longer activating that event, which means unit should have all their else. Yep. Oh, they're triggering their. When they start moving, they are actually triggering their attack, but they should not. They should only when they stop moving. Yeah, on the server is triggering because. It shouldn't be triggering because they are still moving here. I'm wondering why. Uh, we want. I, I think we do want the print here when we start the attack loop. We want to keep keep it there for now. So I just want to make sure when it prints, when they start moving. Yeah, when they start moving, units are are starting their attack loop. But they shouldn't be. because we're getting out we tell them they're looking for targets okay this is triggering after we're still at zero velocity when our unit state is modi is being modified on the server by the behavior tree I think we can safely s say if we are fighting, only if we are fighting. So this is basically the same thing. Oh, we, we didn't want to do this, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it matters a bit. Oh, only the client is triggering now. Yeah, that's because I guess that's because we never actually send the unit into fighting mode. So I think we can safely th set this for now. Because uh, what are we doing in the behavior tree already? So it's static, then we're sending him here. And he's always looking for targets. He's actually always looking for targets. So that's why. So this time it's going to work, I guess. Oh no, of course, I'm dumb. I think we want to do something like, are you fighting? If you are fighting, we're just going to wait for now. So we're moving to our targets, and when we're not at location, for now we'll just sa set mm, blackboard. We need to send the units in another state. We want to set a value here. Uh, we don't have that, so we'll need to create it real quick. A new task called go to mm, 
go to state like this we're gonna grab the unit state here promote this into a variable new state this is gonna be public and I think that's how we're gonna do this we're gonna return the same so when the unit here we want to go to state we want to unplug everything and just keep this and what state do we want to go in looking uh, not looking for target fighting and if the unit is no longer If the unit if the unit is no longer in range, we we will need some kind of decorate decorator here. We want to have some kind of decorator this of distance decorator. Is that location target acceptable radius fifty? Uh, we don't want that, we want a, server, or a service which checks this and modify the unit for now we'll, we'll just do something else only if Uh, what do we want it already? Is that location, target, inverse condition? We're good to looking for target if we are no longer in location. We're gonna wait every point, uh, every one second. And we want to check if we are fighting. Yeah, we're better. Now we want to replug. So when we trigger, when we check if attacking, we don't need um, authority anymore since everyone is checking the same thing now. And we can close everything related to this except for the combat units. And we want wh when we take damage when this is being replicated we want to go on death and what happens when we die what happens when we set our unit state we are being sent to the dead state and we also want to stop attacking if we're dead and we want to play our death animation how do we want to do this we want to hide the else bar For now, we'll see what it does. Oh, we don't have any collision any anymore when we die. We want to. Oh, we want to say that our capsule no longer collides with pawn. We want to ignore pawn.
Oh yeah, set unit states on this. We don't want to be calling this like this. That's idi idiot. We want to set unit state dead. And in here we want to be calling on death. And do this. And put this in on death. We don't want to be calling this here anymore. So when we die, we hide this. We stop the attack loop. We hide. Oh yeah, we don't want. To, we we don't need to set this since we hide everything here. Ah uh, yeah, we don't want to hide everything here because we want to see the units uh, playing its death animation. And we want the game states to only return when we are looking for units. We only want to return units that aren't dead. Not equal dead. And we might have errors now that we have done this. So I'm not sure, but I feel like that guy... We're gonna have errors. No, we don't. Because we have some kind of error protection, null, po null pointers protection in the task finding targets. Not even. But it doesn't matter for now. So the units are properly stopping to fight but now we we want them to play their animation their de death animation and i think we'll just add a value here or are we we can do it another way which is by sending it to the death state I guess we're gonna do this, it's way cleaner so we're gonna have, we're gonna need a new utility uh, in anim we're gonna have a utils folder which is gonna be, and we're gonna add a blueprint interface which is gonna be bpi anim communication Mm, didn't we already created something like this? Yeah, we did. So where did we put that in here? So we want we want to oh we're using this everywhere of course. So we don't we don't want that. We don't want that. We want to put this. Oh uh, yeah, we do want the utils folder and we want to put the anim communication in here. We don't have any redirectors, we're fine. Set dragged anim state. And in here we also want set anim states. And we're, go we're going to have a bunch of states. Are we going to use a name or are we going to use... Yeah, we're going to do this in two ways. So, you're going to see, uh, I think you're going to like it. So, we're going to have a new parameter here, which is going to be a name. New state. And we're going to have 
in here we're gonna have a new macro library or function library function this is gonna be BPI uh, act actually we're gonna put this in our BPF utils we're gonna have a new function called get common um, anim state to name mm, anim state to name like this and this is going to return a name this is going, going to be called return value and in our anim in here we're gonna have a new blueprint in them which is e common anim state like this we're gonna have idle dead uh, channeling for instance for now we're just gonna have this and in here we want to say this is gonna be common anim state in common anim states oh the longer we put it the longer the nut's gonna be we don't want that in states that's it and we're just gonna say make literal in them like this and then so we'll be able to so this is gonna going to be so, so this is the interface which is plugged to each and single animation blueprint we have and they are all able to receive that event and they're going to receive that event and we can receive this and depending on that we can change the animation state of that of that animation blueprint and you can have several common so, uh, and the fact that we made this a name means that you can create any number of state you want at any occasion different occasion and the fact that we've created this means that we don't have to write the name down for each common state we have so we're just gonna go oh what is what's this Oh, we didn't plug, is the unit dead? That's why we didn't have an error, I think. So, in here we want to... Oh, we have an error regarding our... The name of our components. In here we add an error. We're just gonna rename this component real quick. We can't. Okay, we can't. Uh, this is frightening for the follow-up. Sometimes r blueprints get corrupted. So when the unit dies, we want to send our anim instance. I think we have a reference to that. We want to send our anim instance to the state, to the dead state. So in order to do this, we just have to get common uh, get state. Mm, can't we? How did we call that? Didn't our aren't why aren't we able to call this here? I'm infuriated. Anim state to net get common anim state name like this. We want the dead anim state here. We want to be sending the unit in the anim state dead. And now what do we want to do? We want to do a simple thing, but tedious. We want to store that into a variable, which is current state. By default, uh, the state is going to be idle. Make sure uh, idle is properly set here. And in our anim graph in here we want to say 
that we can go in a new state which is dead from jog run to idle we can go to state current state equals dead dead like this oh it doesn't like it yeah like this are we dead if so we're gonna play so we didn't rename our dead animation our death animation I meant so we're gonna do this yeah I don't I don't like when it's not properly organized but I'm just gonna do two of us and I'm gonna do the rest offline so like this we have two death animation so not the ranger uh, so we're gonna do the ranger they are in the sentinels character ranger animation this is an elf ranger death and we want to be calling this here and it's only gonna play once then it's gonna be st stuck here so we only want ranger how do we do this we open up our bench make random name we unplug this we say we want a ranger here we just plug ranger so we're gonna we're only gonna have rangers how are they gonna behave it doesn't seem like they are playing their animation they're just all dead <laughs> oddly enough so we're calling this we're calling dead I think this is the issue here The name conversion, when we when you convert name the way we did, it w it returns, it doesn't return the name of the of the enumerator. It returns new enumerator and zero. But that wasn't the issue apparently. They are properly moving towards each other. We're pretty happy about this. So, what couldn't possibly be working enum to string I think maybe that that was the one we wanted I'm certain there is a problem with this I mean with one of the node I'm not certain the, the bug comes from here yeah 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 So they are properly dying. And then we only have two units remaining. And what happens if we do this? So we still have rangers. Oh, yeah, we have those. And if we go back there, they are fine. I was thinking like... I think they, were, they are going to be stuck... Oh, they're, no, they're not. We're removing the anim instance and re-adding it, which means everything we've, we do related to animation is actually reset. Oh, no, yeah. That was I was expecting, expecting to see. And now they are all dead. Poor, poor things. So this is, oh, create dynamic material instance set team color. Why? 
Why? What, what is that error? This means we tried to set... Oh yeah, okay. The problem is here is that we, we changed, we swapped, we swapped uh, from face to face too fast and the client received information about units team when units got pulled back. But it doesn't matter. So I think we can saf safely say. So we need to revive the units when we actually set its state to static. We need to revive it here. So we no longer have a revive function. So we're going to call this here, revive. So wh when we revive the unit, we want to do the opposite that we've done in the death. On death, revive. So we can no longer use should rotate here. We can safely delete towards movements. Uh, no, we, we, we're going to keep it. We're just going to remove rotate towards movement. What did I what did I do here? Move nod. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We want to delete rotate towards movement. So when we die, we change the visibility, we stop the attack loop. So we want to keep this and put this here. So when we revive, we want to show our else bar. We want to start blocking pawn again, and we want to go idle. And in our animation blueprint, we need to say that we can move from dead to idle if we are no idle here. If we are now idle. Oh, are we? Did we have something else to do? Maybe not. We'll see. Th I noticed the else bar was empty as well, and I think that's because uh, the server is actually never resetting the else of the unit. They're gonna die. Poor little things. Okay, they're all dead. Okay, one of the way to easily to so to see if it's if we still have the bug is to open up the actor pooler and to say that we only have four units in the pool. So it will always use the same units. They're all dead. Yep, so now they are fine, but just the else is not being reset. So how do we do this? This is, so we want to close everything but the combat unit. And when the unit is being revived, we want to, s um, I think there is something Set combat matrix max else zero. That's not what we want at all, but we're actually never ever calling this. So we can get rid of this, I guess. But we are extracting the information in our, in here, what do we do when we extract that data from row? In here, we need to be setting the max else. Oh yeah, we don't have the max else. So, 
when we extract the, da the data from the row, we want to be calling our parent and we want to set this and that like this yet unit data row break we might be seeing some flicker no I don't think we are I don't think we are gonna see flickers Oh, we don't need. Oh, we don't need. We shouldn't put that much in it because we moved the the unit cap to back to four, and we didn't uh, build the system which was extending the pool. If we needed more units, if we didn't have enough units in the pool. So they are killing each other. We're going back there. Starting again. Client sees them full. We're trying again. And they're they're all dead. Once more, okay, it seems fine. So we have the placeholder logic to deal and take damage which we're going to use most of the placeholder logic in one way or another in the ability system so it's not waste of time and we're also going to use so we're not going to build the ability system right now we're going to go for uh, the detection of uh, who's dying uh, who's dying in order to trigger the end of the combat phase so we can have a complete game loop before moving forward to other uh, events, to other features, we're just gonna head back to our actor pooler and say that we're gonna have 40 combat units. And it's going to wrap up that video. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.